Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Belgium and they take on Saudi Arabia. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And the contest begins. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Toby Alderweireld plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Yannick Carrasco on the flanks. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Could cross it in here. It should be! And a good take under duress there. Well, I think with Belgium, it's a question of whether or not they can fulfil their potential. And quite frankly, Stuart, we've been asking that question of them for quite some time now, haven't we? Yes, we have, but I think they're probably past their best. Some of their key players are now Asian, but they are a good team. They've got some excellent players. And with Canada... Oh, great. they could put it away, Stuart! Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Axel Witzel. Well, they're doing a fine job of applying pressure here, not giving their opponents time to think or get out of their own half. And the ball's gone. That'll be a throw-in for Belgium. Mertens, Meunier, a wonderful intervention, and blocked for now, Mertens, must take the lead here, it could be up for grabs, oh chance taken, there is opportunism for you, but a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to the attacker, and the finish is excellent. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Al-Hassan. Good tackle. And support available. Chances on. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Sloppy in possession from Belgium. Trossard. Went in strongly to win the ball. And Belgium in a position of menace.
And a throw in it's going to be. Trossard. That is that for the first half here. We certainly have got to give this man. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Timothy Castagna. And teammates to play it to. Dries Mertens is in position at the far post. Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. Saud Abdul Hamid. Possession one. Mertens. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Well, how can we put it? Not a free kick that's going to live long in the memory. Well, how we can put it, it's a poor effort, poor technique. Probably the wrong decision as well. That needed to go into the box. Just not looking confident in possession. Mertens. Oh, what an opportunity. Well, without wanting to put too fine a point on it, that goes down as a tame effort and easy for the keeper. He's lost it in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Belgium have really started to dictate the play over the last 15 minutes and have been pressing to extend their lead. They just need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. And a fine tackle. Well, he keeps going. Can he make it count? Couldn't quite hang on. Marvellous anticipation. Playing it in. Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. They've lost it. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Belgium finding space on the flank. Ready to fire. You don't often see that, do you? His own teammate getting in the way and a fairly straightforward offside. Well, I'm not quite sure why he's in that position. He's quite clearly offside. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. So a personnel change then. And given away. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Defenders need to cover. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. 
So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Trossard. Opportunity. And the final whistle. An acceptable outcome from a Belgian point of view. A victory for them here. Stuart, sum it up for us. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. In the final analysis, an eye-catching performance from...